It is a big day for Nova Southeastern University students and staff and researchers as well at the College of Natural Sciences and Oceanography. They were awarded nearly $4 million for coral reef research. Local 10's Joseph Ojo was there and explains why this funding is so critical. And this was critical funding that will go towards the work that staff and students do here at Nova. Researchers telling us that this money will go towards protecting our coastlines, marine life, and so much more for years to come. It's my pleasure to present the United States of America to Nova Southeastern University. Nova Southeastern University securing major federal funding that will go towards protecting and preserving our coral reefs. Back in 2014, along our coast here in South Florida, researchers noticed many of our corals were being threatened by what is called stony coral tissue loss disease. If you're asking why this is important. This is so crucial for us. It's part of our food supply. If we want to have, you know, our red snapper tacos and our sushi rolls, then we need to take care of the coral reefs, which provide the homes for that food chain. Researchers say coral reefs also have an effect on our climate change. That is why this nearly $4 million funding will help with gathering data and lab research, which can be very costly. Our cameras inside one of NSU's nurseries where students manipulate corals and then restore them. So we're trying to repopulate the area so that habitats are created, so that fish return and that the ecosystem flourishes naturally. There are economic benefits of coral reefs as well. In Florida, hundreds of millions of dollars are generated through reef-related activities, such as scuba diving, snorkeling, and other tourism recreational activities. And lastly, the coastal protection our healthy coral reefs provide will be beneficial for years to come. It actually reduces the erosion in our coastlines. So if the reefs are gone, we will have very severe impacts, even with a small storm. This is a huge step for us, so I couldn't be more thrilled to be part of this lab and this university on today. Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.